The new president of Afghanistan, Ashraf Ghani, faces great leadership challenges. The former finance minister, who also worked with the World Bank, is described as having a modernist style with a stress on merit and responsibility. His predecessor, Hamid Karzai, tended to a traditionalist style in managing the country, where systems give pride of place to loyalty. After a long dispute about the election, he and rival presidential candidate Abdullah Abdullah in a prime minister-like new role as chief executive have agreed to share power. Although they still have no cabinet, they both have a pro-Western and anti-corruption outlook. Afghanistan's economy is nearly paralyzed from instability. It can't attract investors' confidence. Hence, the interest in Ghani's 15 years managing development and transformation in China, India and Russia. The national budget is 6.2 billion euros, two-thirds of it depending on foreign aid. Afghanistan is having trouble meeting its own share of the budget because political uncertainty has hurt business and tax revenues. Collection was down 24% January to October compared with last year. The Afghan security forces complain their resources aren't enough to fight the war against the Taliban in spite of 3.2 billion euros in military aid this year, with attacks from the Islamic fundamentalists perhaps as strong as they've ever been since the American-led invasion threw them from power in 2001. This year has been the costliest in civilian lives as well as military. The 2014 death toll in the security forces is 4,600, which is 6% more killed than last year. NATO troops are set to be all but withdrawn, their Afghanistan combat mission ending. Some 12,500 will be staying in training and support roles. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg has talked about a new chapter in its partnership with Afghanistan. They have a force of 350,000 soldiers and police. They are trained and they have received a lot of equipment and we are still going to be there. Uh, with the rest of the support mission. U.S. officials have said that new rules for the Americans staying will let commanders order airstrikes or night raids on Taliban forces if they pose grave threats.